thank you so much. And I'm super excited to be here virtually um, with Higher Ed Week. So I'm gonna go ahead, I believe I have my screen shared with you all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with today's presentation. Once again, thank you for having me. My name is Azrit Martinez. I am a student recruitment coordinator senior with Northern Arizona University, University Admissions. I am actually based out of Yuma, Arizona, so I'm about an hour uh, drive away from Imperial, California, and I work typically with students in Yuma, La Paz, and Imperial, California. So I will be your direct contact with any questions you may have in regards to NAU. And like Todd mentioned, we do have a Yuma Branch campus here in Yuma for NAU. If you have questions in regards to the Yuma Branch campus, I am also more than happy to answer those as well. Um, today, we're gonna touch a little bit more on our Flagstaff campus, but I am more than happy to answer those questions. On the current slide, I have provided you all with my contact information. My phone number and email is available for you all to use with any questions you may have in the near future if we are not able to answer any of the questions you have throughout the presentation or at the end of the presentation today. So with that, I do want to go ahead and mention that I am also a two-time NAU alumni. I recently graduated from NAU with my master's degree in um, educational leadership, higher education, from NAU this past December. So not only do I work for the institution, but I have the experience of being a NAU student. So feel free to ask me any questions about my personal experience as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna talk a little bit about where our main campus is located. NAU's main campus is located in Flagstaff, Arizona. Um, we are up in the mountains, up in the pine forest. We are at 7,000 feet elevation, meaning we get to experience four beautiful seasons. That means we do get snow. Surprisingly, shockingly, we do get snow in Arizona. We get about 100 inches of snow per year. And that's um, per year, not all at once. So students kind of get scared when they hear that 100 inches, especially if you're not used to the snow. Um, we get that about um, one or two inches a day during our winter season. And our winter season is not that long. It takes about three to four months, um, depending on um, the season for that year. But it's a great opportunity for our students to experience something different in regards to weather, especially if you're like myself that was born and raised in the desert. I know Yuma and Imperial California is fairly similar as we are close by. So that experience of being in the snow was a great um, opportunity, especially for our students who come from areas like Imperial. So there's a lot of outdoor activities and adventures for our students to get involved in. We are near 11, or excuse me, 10 national monuments and um, national parks. One of them being the Grand Canyon. So we're about a 90 minute drive from the Grand Canyon. So if you've never been um, before, it's a great weekend or day trip for many of our students who are on campus. So after a long semester of hard work, a lot of our students go up to the Grand Canyon or even Sedona, which is also nearby to get a great um, weekend trip out of the way and kind of just relax after that long semester. NAU, or excuse me, Flagstaff has about 71,000 residents. We are well known for being um, a small college town, and we also are recognized for being one of the best college towns in the United States, along with Arizona as a state. We are fairly small compared to other in-state universities in Arizona, and fairly small compared to some of the California state uh, universities as well. There's a lot of great ways to get involved on our campus. A lot of students biggest question is what kind of clubs or organizations can I join while I'm attending NAU. We have over 400 clubs and organizations for students to join, all varying on your academic interests, professional interests, sports related. We do have sorority and fraternity life on our campus for our students as well. This is a great way for our students to get involved and build a sense of community while they're away from home. Because I know um, compared to some of the California states, we are a little bit farther from those 
institutions. So it's a great way um, that students get involved. I highly recommend students get into a club or organization or, or find some way to be active on campus so that you can build a sense of community on our campus. We do have a lot of um, health and learning um, services and support for our students through our health and learning center. We do have an indoor gym, rock climbing for our students, indoor basketball courts, tennis courts. Um, we do have an Olympic size pool that we've had uh, quite a few Olympians come and try out and test out and practice um, because we are at that 7,000 feet elevation. It's a lot of um, beneficial for those student athletes and professional athletes to come and practice at NAU. We also have 15 NCAA Division I athletic programs on our campus. This is another great way to get involved, whether you want to be a student athlete or maybe just come and join and support the Lumberjacks. You do have free access to all of our home games uh, for uh, being a student at NAU. All you need is your JAX card, which is your student ID, and you have that free admissions to all those home games. So another great way to get involved on our campus. Next, we're going to talk a little bit about our academic side of NAU. NAU was currently or was founded, excuse me, in 1899, and we currently sit on about 800 acres. We're about a mile and a half long, half a mile wide. Once again, that small college town field, small university institution at um, our, in our main campus. We have a little under 100 undergraduate programs to offer our students, and we also give students the opportunity to expand their post-secondary education if they wish through our 61 master's programs or 15 doctoral programs that we have available through our graduate college, which is founded in our nine academic colleges. We also have an average classroom size. It actually went up this past year to 30 five students per um, classroom, which is an average classroom size you would see or you're used to in high school. Like I mentioned, we have nine academic colleges, one including our graduate college, others varying from our College of Education, our College of Arts and Letters, Engineering, uh, Sciences, Health and Human Services, um, a wide variety for our students. So we offer a little under 100 programs for our students to explore. If you want to learn a little bit more about our programs, if you have some time after, I could provide that list to you all so that you could see what kind of programs um, might and emphasis we have to offer our students on campus. Like Todd mentioned, we do have some extended campuses. So our main campus is located in Flagstaff, but we do have about 20 different locations statewide, Yuma being one of them. If you are interested in staying local at IVC, for example, and then transferring into a four-year institution, a lot of our students at our Yuma Branch campus come from Imperial Valley, um, IVC particularly, and transfer over and do one of our degree programs at our Yuma Branch campus. I do want to highlight that if you are interested in attending our Yuma Branch campus, you cannot attend it right after high school. You would have to start at a local community college and get all your prerequisites done and out of the way in order to get into one of our NAU Yuma Branch programs. And we do this because we share a campus with our local community college, Arizona Western College. If any of you were in that presentation earlier today, um, we have that partnership. So at the Yuma Branch campus, we don't offer the lower level courses. So the 100, 200 level courses for our students. Now I want to touch base a little bit on our support services that we have to offer our students. We are highly committed to our students on our campus and having them succeed throughout their experience at NAU. We also are a very diverse campus. We offer a lot of support services, no matter your background, your culture, especially through our Office of Inclusion, Multicultural and LGBTQIA plus a center or IMQ for short, where students could find um, another sense of community away from home. There's a lot of great opportunities also to get involved and volunteer in hosting events through our IMQ office. They typically try to put on a lot of cultural-based events throughout 
throughout the academic school year. We also offer a lot of support services for our first generation students. At NAU, we classify a first generation student as neither of your parents or guardian has received a bachelor's degree. If you do identify as a first generation student, we offer um, multiple first gen programs that you all could join where you could get additional support and services like mentoring and tutoring while you are attending NAU. And a lot of these programs programs do offer a lot of scholarships as well that could help you out during your transition from uh, home to university life. We also are committed and one of our institutional goals is for our Native American students. So we offer a lot of support through our Office of Indigenous Student Success for our students. We also um, not to mention our disability resources and our student veteran services. If you are military affiliated, you can take advantage of these resources through our student veteran services. So if you are interested in getting some benefits or using your um, dependents benefits in order to pay for college, they will be able to assist you with those benefits. I also wanted to highlight our study abroad opportunities. There's a lot of study abroad. This is one of my biggest regrets during my undergraduate is not looking into more of a study abroad option or not even knowing what study abroad was while attending um, during my undergraduate program. So I do want to highlight that really quickly. One particularly is our Interdisciplinary Global Program, or IGP for short. This is a five-year program. If you are interested in the STEM field or business field, and you're interested in maybe a modern language or liberal studies, you can pursue this program. Like I mentioned, it is a five-year program where one year, your fourth year essentially at NAU, will focus on that study abroad experience where a semester would be focused on an internship, and then the second semester would be focused on meeting your requirements for your modern language requirements in order for you to get that second degree. So it's a great benefit. Also, if you are eligible for any of our merit-based scholarships, which I will touch base on a little bit further on through my presentation, you can extend that merit-based scholarship for that fifth year that you attend NAU. So another great benefit where are a lot of students only get that merit-based scholarship for four years that they attend NAU, but with this program, because of that fifth year component, you could be eligible for that merit-based scholarship. And then not only does NAU help students succeed academically during their time at NAU, we also help them succeed after they graduate. We offer a lot of resources for career development for our students. We offer job fairs, uh, graduate school expos, so maybe we don't offer the graduate um, school or the medical school that you're interested in. You can look into those types of programs during our graduate expo and get more information. A lot of these schools or even employers during the job fairs host interviews um, and you could get more information on how to get into those specific programs or get that specific job. Another great resource is our Handshake which is our online job search portal for our students who are interested in working while they attend NAU. So if you're interested in working while you're attending and getting your studies this website is a great opportunity or portal essentially where you create your profile, upload your resume, cover letter. If you need assistance with those types of documents, we could help you through our career development office as well with writing those or even maybe doing a mock interview if you've never been to a job interview before. Now we're gonna go ahead and touch base on our academic requirements. At NAU, we are a test score optional institution. We do not look at your ACT or SAT test scores for admission purposes. So once again, no test scores for admissions. What we look at are the following 16 core classes for admissions. We look for four years of English, four years of math, three years of lab science, two years of social science, two years of the same foreign language, and then one year of a fine arts or CTE. 
uh, these 16 core classes might look similar. Um, they are similar to your A through G requirements that you need um, in order to graduate high school. However, in Arizona, we call it uh, the core 16 or the college, uh, the 16 college preparatory courses that students need in order for them to graduate high school. Um, this is all of the 16 core classes that all in-state universities in Arizona look at. So we have um, essentially the same admission requirements in the sense of the 16 core classes. At NAU, we will offer students a guaranteed admissions if they have a 3.0 unweighted core GPA and no deficiency in any of the 16 core classes. A deficiency could be defined as you're missing a year of the 16 core classes, didn't receive a passing grade, or your subject GPA is below a 2.0. We will still consider you for admissions if you have a 2.5 unweighted core GPA and no more than one deficiency in each subject area, and they can't overlap in math and lab science. All right, once again, no test scores for admission purposes. However, if you are interested in taking the test score and you are allowed to take the test score this year, you are more than welcome to submit those test scores. Test scores will only help you. They will not hurt you. All right, now we're going to go ahead and touch base on our cost of attendance. Uh, attendance, excuse me, the value of attending NAU. At NAU, we have what's called the Western Undergrad Exchange Program, or WUI for short. It's a partnership that we have with the following 14 Western states, where students who reside in any of these 14 states, California being one of them, will actually be classified as a WUI student as opposed to a true non-resident or out-of-state student. You're actually going to be charged 40% less than our non-resident students pay. Um, which is a great benefit and it's a great program, especially for students in California. Um, that tuition cost is a lot more affordable compared to um, going to an, an out of state institution. I know one of the biggest concerns for students looking into out of state or maybe not even looking into out of state schools is that out of state cost of attendance. However, with the WUI program, this gives students that opportunity to go out of state without paying that out-of-state rate. And uh, with our WUI program, it does not matter what program you are interested in, you will qualify for the WUI program as long as you reside in one of the following 14 states. There's no separate application that you need to submit. We will automatically evaluate you for your residency depending on that application that you submit for admissions. So for NAU, we have currently our WUI tuition rate at 15975 This is the current tuition rate. It is subject to change for next year. Um, and typically those tuition rates, those due tuition rates will come out around March, April for our students. I also wanted to include some additional costs so that students could kind of get an idea of the overall cost of attendance at NAU. What's the mandatory fees? housing, meal plans, and books and supplies. At NAU, we do not require first-year students to live on campus. It is optional for first-year students, so if you decide not to live on campus that first year, that housing fee will not be associated to your overall cost of attendance. Same thing goes with meal plan. If you do decide to live on campus your first year, you will be required to purchase a meal plan. And we have four different meal plans for our students to choose from. We have a 10, 14, 19, and unlimited meals per week. And those prices do vary depending on which meal plan you choose. If you decide not to live on campus, you don't have to purchase the meal plan. You can purchase a meal plan if you decide to live off campus um, and you have those four options to choose from. I do wanna highlight our merit-based scholarships. Now that I touched a little bit on our cost of attendance, we do offer a lot of resources and support for our students when it comes to paying for college. And a few of these are our merit-based scholarships. So our WUI students will be automatically evaluated for the following two merit-based scholarships once they've been admitted to NAU. The first one is our WUI Gold Award 
which looks at our students' unweighted core GPA from the 16 core classes. We look for a 3.5 unweighted core GPA or higher in order to be eligible for the gold award. And that's valued at $6,000 per year. And that goes to tuition. Then we have our WUI Blue Award, which looks for a 3.0 to a 3.49 unweighted core GPA in the 16 core classes and is valued at $5,000 per year. Like I mentioned, students who are automatically evaluated for these merit-based scholarships, you don't have to worry about completing a separate application. We will automatically consider you for these once you have been admitted. Now, say when you initially apply and you were awarded the blue because you're at a 3.49 unweighted core GPA, but after your fall semester, you did really great, you boosted up your GPA, send me an updated transcript and we could reevaluate you for that WUI gold. We want to make sure that we're getting you that highest merit-based scholarship possible. So don't be afraid to ask for a reevaluation. In addition to these merit-based scholarships, we do offer additional scholarships that typically open up in November and in January for our students. And students could get a list of those by going to nau.edu forward slash scholarships. Once again, test scores are optional. These are, this is in a case where merit, or excuse me, test scores will come into play and could highly um, improve or help our students because we can look at your test scores for the following two scholarships. So if your test scores are really great and it helps improve your overall GPA in order to be eligible for one of the following merit-based scholarships, we can take those test scores into consideration. I did want to highlight really quickly our non-resident or out-of-state tuition rate so that you guys could kind of see a comparison of what our true non-resident students are paying. Currently, they're paying $25,396 for tuition per year. Um, so it's a lot more. Like I mentioned, our WUI students are paying 40% less than our non-resident students. So if you compare it to other in-state universities, especially in California, that price comes uh, very close to those prices if you were to stay in state um, if you were looking at an out-of-state school like NAU who offers that WUI program. So like I mentioned, it gives you that opportunity to go out of state without paying that out-of-state rate. Now we're going to talk a little bit about becoming a lumberjack. Our application is currently open for fall 2021. So I know many of you are seniors on the line right now. If you are interested in applying, please go to nau.edu forward slash apply. We do have a self-reporting um, application. You'll be reporting your grades from freshman to senior year on your application. So I highly recommend having your high school transcript on hand while you're completing that application so that you're reporting those grades accurately. There is a $25 application fee. However, today, uh, for joining me during this presentation, please use our waiver code, hashtag or pound, NAU all capital 21 to waive that $25 application fee. Once again, we are a test score optional institution. No need to submit those test scores if you don't have them or if you haven't taken the test. Another great resource to help with paying for college is applying for financial aid. I cannot stress how important financial aid or the FAFSA application is. Many students and parents associate the FAFSA application, the free application for federal student aid, with the federal Pell Grant. I'm thinking of that free money coming from the federal government, but when we say financial aid, we mean all types of aid. That includes the federal Pell Grant, NAU as an institution institution offers grants, so anything that says grant is free money, you do not have to worry about paying back. And then um, we have loans that falls under financial aid, federal work study, and then mer many mer uh, scholarships out there require students to have a FAFSA application on file in order to determine if you are eligible for that specific scholarship. So I highly encourage students to complete that FAFSA application. It will open up this year 
October 1st for my seniors. So put that in your calendars, put a reminder on your phone, make sure that you're completing that FAFSA application and sending it over to NAU if you are considering um, applying to NAU. This will allow us to determine what type of aid you are eligible for. We do have a priority, priority date of November 15th. If you complete that FAFSA application by November 15th, that will allow us to send you your cost of attendance letter where you could kind of get a better idea of how much you'll be paying out of pocket for um, attending NAU and then decide if NAU is the best fit for you or not financially. And then last but not least, I did want to highlight really quickly our honors program. If you are interested in getting challenged a little bit more, um, a little bit more rigor in your coursework, um, there we do offer an honors program on our campus. They do require a separate application which includes two essays and a resume or a summary of activities. The honors application is currently open and available for students to apply by going to nau.edu forward slash honors. If you are looking to get connected with us in the future, please join us for one of our daily campus presentations on Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. or Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. We do offer a virtual tour if you've never been to our campus and I know with everything that's going on right now it's very difficult to be um, since we don't have in-person tours available for our students. This virtual tour is a great resource for you to experience our campus a little bit more in depth. You could see a picture of all of our buildings, what they house, and not only that but Flagstaff as a community and what surrounds us. We do have some special events coming up, like NAU Unity Day, Discover NAU, and our Native American Visit Day. If you are interested in any of these types of events, please visit us at nau.edu forward slash virtual. Once again, thank you all for joining me today. I have provided all of our social media platforms. I highly encourage students to do, uh, join us and follow us on one of these social media platforms. It's another great resources to get updates on NAU, what's going on, on our campus. There's a lot of Q&A um, through these platforms like Instagram, for example. And it's not only staff members answering these questions. We try to bring on uh, students, or current students, students who have already graduated from NAU to talk about their experience at NAU and answer those questions for you all. Once, in a, once again, my name is Azra Martinez. Feel free to jot down my information, take a screenshot. If you have any questions for me, feel free to reach me um, at the during um, via email or phone call. And now I'm going to pass it back to Todd to see if you all have any questions for me. Thanks, Azarette, and we really appreciate it. We actually do have a couple questions that have been submitted, a couple of them that came in, and uh, we responded to a few of them, but we just wanted to confirm one of the questions was, hey, what was that uh, waiver uh, code again? If you could repeat that, I think it was something, the hashtag, something, another. Yeah, so it's hashtag or the pound sign, NAU, all capital, 21. Okay, good. We had it correct. So hashtag, uh, NAU 21, class of 21, all these high school class of 21. Uh, and so that's great so that you can apply to NAU waiver free. Yes. If your super secret uh, code for those of you who are joining us here today, glad that you're joining us. Uh, a couple other questions have come in that Honors College, that's fairly new at NAU, uh, seems like a great program. When is the deadline that, that students can apply for the housing or for the Honors College? Yeah, so the Honors College does not have a set deadline. However, they do have a priority date um, of November 15th, or excuse me, March. Um, they try to get students a priority day of November 15th for their merit-based scholarship. So our Honors Program in itself has different merit-based scholarships that students could qualify for. So if you submit your honors application by November 15th, they will be able to review you for that specific merit-based scholarship that they have to offer. And if I'm correct, I believe it's about $1,000 um, towards any type of fee, not just tuition, that could go towards your overall cost of attendance to help you out. 
Great, thanks a lot. By the way, we have a couple of good questions that have come in. If you are on the line right now and you are a student here in Imperial County or even a family member or a counselor who are joining us, uh, feel free uh, to use the question and answer tab down at the bottom of the Zoom uh, window and uh, send us in your question. As Adette's gonna be here, she's available to us. Now is a great time to ask her as many questions as you might have. However, if you don't get a chance today or maybe you're a little shy, you wanna do something uh, specific to her, her contact information is on the screen here that we have here sharing with you. Uh, you can contact her directly by her contact information that you have there. And then also I wanna encourage you guys, there's a QR code, take a picture of that login as well. What that is, that's a bit of a, an attendance form that we use. We collect all that information simply to pass it on to Azadet and the folks at NAU. If you've done that in previous sessions, we're super glad that you have, uh, but uh, all the names that come in for just this four o'clock hour, we're passing along to Azadet. So you may have to do that multiple times if you've logged in multiple times, so great. Okay, couple other questions. Uh, how difficult is it to have NAU, not only as your undergrad, but also your grad uh, graduate school. So I think the question is along the lines of, hey, I want to do graduate school. Should I do it at the same school or should I do it at two different universities? What are your thoughts on that, as it? Is? Yeah, that's a great question. So it really depends on your preference and what you're trying to get into. Um, we do, like I mentioned, offer a 61 master's program. So I would say if we offer a program for you that you're interested in, in for grad, I would say go for it, apply to our graduate program. Um, our graduate programs are a little bit harder to get into compared to our undergraduate programs. So at NAU, all of our undergraduate programs for the most part are direct admit. That means there's no separate application that you need to fill out in order to be admitted to our uh, College of Education. So if you're interested in elementary education, for example, the only two programs that do require a separate application is our School of Nursing and our Dental Hygiene program, because those are our top two competitive programs, which only accept a certain amount or a limited amount of students per year for those cohorts. Um, so it really depends on that program that you're interested in for our grad school and those specific requirements. Like I mentioned, our grad programs do have a certain amount of requirements and deadlines for those programs specifically. But our advisors are great and they work with you if you are interested in going into a grad program, making sure that you're meeting those requirements, making sure you're um, good to go on that deadline and you're not applying late for that specific program that you are interested in. Great. Now you mentioned the nursing program and the dental hygienist program, uh, and those are some of your most popular ones. We had a question that came in that said, what are your most uh, popular or famous uh, degrees at the university? You're up in the forest, so I'm assuming the forest you might be one, uh, <laughs> and, and I, but you could share with, with, with us which ones they are. And I also have a trivia. I know that NAU started, you referenced the date of uh, 1899, actually started as a teacher's college back in the day. So my Correct. presumption is, is that your education college is good as well. But what are some other common or popular degrees at NAU? Yeah, that's a great question. So I hopefully I put a list of all of our degrees on the screen. Can you all see mm -hmm. that or is it my PowerPoint? No, we can't. We can see it. Okay, perfect. It so might be kind of small, but we can see that. Perfect. I'll zoom in too and I'll keep on scrolling so you guys could see a little bit better. Um, but our top programs that we have to offer are more um, popular programs for our students. Currently is our um, biomedical, our civil and engineering um, program, our electric electric engineering programs are our top two programs as well. Um, education, like you mentioned, Todd, we were founded on a teaching institute. Our first graduating class was of teachers. So education keeps on being one of our top uh, popular programs because we are well known for that as well. Um, and then I believe I mentioned biomedical. That one is on the top leaderboard for this upcoming school year that we are currently at right now. Wonderful. And uh, I see over there you have the, the Frankie College of Business. I'm an alumni of that, of that college. <laughs> now, uh, we are mentioning a lot of emphasis on Flagstaff, uh, where your main campus is, but you have a campus, actually, I guess you have extensions in a couple different cities in Arizona, but specifically you have one in, in, in Yuma, which is just a, kind of a quick hour's commute from us here uh, in El Centro. Uh, yeah. And also, if I could, you, you mentioned that there was a WUI uh, tuition for California residents. 
Do you know, is there a different, an additional price break for the universe, for Northern Arizona and Yuma for Imperial County students or is, or is it the WUI uh, tuition? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so we do have an extended campus in Yuma. Like I mentioned, there are only some selected programs that we offer at the Yuma branch campus. So we don't offer this whole list, um, the under 100 programs that we have to offer at our Flagstaff campus. There's about 10 programs only available at our Yuma branch campus, um, going from business administration to justice studies. Um, we do have education, early childhood education. In in Yuma, psychology and sociology, I believe, are another few to mention. Um, and students typically that we see at the Yuma Branch campus are transfer students. I did this myself, so I attended the local community college first, um, got all my prerequisites out of the way, and then transferred to the Yuma Branch campus. So that's an option for our students as well. Maybe you're not ready necessarily to go off to a four-year institution and that's perfectly fine you want to stay local get your prerequisites save some time and money maybe that's an option as well then you could transfer to our Yuma branch campus in Flagstaff um, Tucson Phoenix depending on which program you're interested in that campus would vary essentially or your options will vary depending on that program of interest that you are looking into and our Yuma Branch campus also offers the WUI program. So if you do attend our Yuma Branch campus, you would essentially um, be paying that WUI rate, but it is different compared to our Flagstaff campus since it's an extended campus. Um, and we could look up those prices by going to nau.edu forward slash tuition. So our Yuma Branch campus has its own tuition rate, which is fairly a lot more um, compatible and affordable for our students to attend. Great. So it sounds like there's even a further price break for students who uh, mm -hmm. would choose the Yuma option uh, to get a, a four-year degree from uh, from U of, uh, NAU. Uh, there's a couple other questions. Once again, they're related to majors. Like, do you have physical therapy? Are there limited? Is that an impacted major in physical therapy? Uh, and then, uh, is does NAU have a criminal justice program? Uh, a lot of those are programs and questions about what majors you have, uh, and that may be a question either for the Yuma campus or the Flagstaff campus, what would be the best place a student could go to to find out information specific to a particular degree? I'm assuming it's nau.edu slash something. What would that be? Yeah, so I highlighted, I'm not too sure if you could all see it, but it's nau.edu forward slash catalog. You could, um, and this takes you to our main website. You'll see this list that I have pulled up right now of all of the programs we have to offer. You could filter it by campus of choice. Um, so you could search if you're looking for specifically Yuma based, you could search Yuma and you'll see all the programs that we have to offer. If you're looking for online, maybe Flagstaff, you could search it that way. Um, as for physical therapy, we do offer physical therapy but at the doctoral level um so in grad college a lot of our students who are interested in physical therapy start off with a undergraduate program in exercise science or fitness wellness and then work their way up and apply to our physical therapy program once they finish with that undergraduate program and that's only offered in flagstaff for the physical therapy um, for justice study or criminal justice, we do have criminal justice. Um, it's under criminology in Flagstaff, and we have what we call justice studies in Yuma available for our students. And it's a really great program. Um, I believe last year it was one of our top popular programs, and I believe it's one of our biggest programs as well. A lot of Wonderful. students for that. Well, that makes sense here in, in, in our area uh, for it to be a, a popular major. It certainly is a popular major with Imperial Valley students. Uh, now, as it, uh, there might be some other questions that will come in to you. So once again, why don't you throw up the screen that has your contact information. So if a student is tuning in right now, uh, we're glad you are. Uh, and if you've been with us all day long, you've heard a lot of great universities, all of them outside of Imperial County, started with Mexicali and set these. And then I think we popped over to Yuma for Arizona Western, then down to Tucson for University of Arizona. And now we're finishing the day with Northern Arizona. Uh, they have a campus in Flagstaff and also an extension campus in, uh, in Yuma as well. So it's been a, a fun day. We hope that you've enjoyed uh, all of the days, as many sessions as you were able to log into. Know also 
that we're going to be doing this at, uh, every afternoon uh, for the rest of this week and next week as well. So now, as, it, as we kind of wind up our time, there might be some other questions that get uh, thrown into there. We'll, we'll ask those real quick to you but uh, as they come in. Uh, but want to give you an opportunity to kind of give any, any uh, final thoughts about uh, students who will be interested in attending Northern Arizona University. If they're interested in applying, I know there's a, a code that they can use to waive their, their, uh, their application fee. Uh, so if you could share us any last thoughts and then we'll turn it back over to Denise Cabanilla. Oops, I think uh, you might be still on, uh, uh, that's the first time you've done that today. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I knew it was gonna happen sometime. Um, but yes, thank you for having me once again. It's a very enjoyable experience and hopefully like Denise said before we started, um, Higher Ed Week 2 to join you all in person. I love the cup, Todd, by the way. Um, but thank you all. Please feel free to jot down my information, my phone number, um, my email. Like I mentioned, I work with students directly from Imperial California, so I will be that point of contact for you all. Feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call, and I'll answer those questions for you all.